And so I was basically doing this dance around a blue obstacle course where sometimes the camera was like, you know, six inches from my face and sometimes it was 30 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I know this has been a lifelong labor of love for you. The technology kind of hadn't gotten to a place until a couple of years ago where you could even feasibly think about making this. I know you talked to James Cameron a little bit uh, when he was doing Avatar. Was there any specific advice that helped you navigate how to bu build this whole world and do the movie? No, what was very important is when, when you approach this kind of thing, you, you watch it and you say, okay, it's not even feasible. You, 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 you watch the thing and you say, how I can do that? And just the fact that he was kind enough to invite me and just to see that he can do it. He, and then you say, all right, if he can do it, it means that it's feasible. So you go back home with energy because you say, yeah, it's just a question of time, organization, finding the right people, and doing little piece by little piece. You know, if you, if you watch the entire picture, you will be desperate. You, you won't do anything. Right. If you approach it like, okay, let's start by this mm -hmm. and this. Like James, well, the, the fact you see James, that he, he almost like allowed me mm. to think I can make it. Gotcha. And he was not surprised. He said, yeah, yeah, you can make it. And I, I was, okay, if he say it. <laughs> when you are working with physical sets, you have obviously your outfits, your costumes, but then so much of this is green screen and it's, and it's basically a leap of faith. And then some of the, the sequences, I'm sure, where you just don't know how it's gonna turn out. Was there a biggest sequence for either of you that was the biggest challenge? And then when you saw it completed, you're like, oh, that's how that was gonna look. For me, it was the big market sequence. Mm -hmm. You know, specifically there's mm -hmm. one shot where um, it, it was a full day of shooting to get this one shot. It's like a 30, 40 second shot in one take that they did with a cable cam. Um, and so I was basically doing this dance around a blue obstacle course where sometimes the camera was like, you know, six inches from my face and sometimes it was 30 feet away. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I was like going under the wires and over them and jumping and doing somersaults and it was a marathon of a day. You know, yeah. it was incredibly, incredibly uh, physically challenging. And then, I ha and then to go and see that shot in the movie is incredible. And I, I really, mm. I, the world that I'm in and all the different aliens, and I honestly want to watch it like frame by frame just so I can see all the different aliens and all the different layers that they've added mm -hmm. in. Definitely. So, yeah. It feels like there's a hundred stories in every frame that the movie could have gone into. Hundreds, yeah. Which yeah. is amazing. When you talk about the organization, how did you figure out how to take it into small pieces and make it into something that you can then build into the movie that it is. I get inspired by history mm. and architecture. Look at, look at LA. You look LA on the map, it's just a circle. When you go down, you have Beverly Hills, you have East LA, you have Malibu, mm. you have like, and everything is so different. You have the beach, you have the desert. Yeah. So you have to organize your script and your world the same way, mm -hmm. layers by layers. So we, we hire a couple of uh, amazing designers. Mm -hmm. They work for a year, N not without, even without the script, just like creating mm -hmm. layers of worlds that we can superpose and then it makes it logical. So that's how, that's how we work. And then the second year, then we open the script yeah. and then we get in. And the third year, we make it better. Well, because this is a comic book that you have loved since you were a child, what was either the most exciting species or world for you to pull off the page and put into the into the film, and at the end of the day, the one that you're most proud of? I'm very proud of the pearls mm. because they are gorgeous, and it's it's a, they, these people are perfect. Mm -hmm. They don't know fear. Uh, they don't know aggressivity. They don't have money. They don't need anything. They're almost naked every day. They love each other and they live in perfect harmony with mm -hmm. the elements. And they are so wild and wise. Wise, yeah. You know, and they are what I dream of for humanity. Mm. I, I wish we could be like them.